Hello and welcome back to the channel once again. If this is your very first time visiting, please do me a favor and click on the subscription button and like the video to help grow the channel and please share for others to also benefit. So what happens after the WASI exams is that you see a lot of applicants applying to the university for either the Bachelor of Science in Nursing or the Bachelor of Science in Midwifery because it has brighter future career prospects and job opportunities. But the problem is that these universities can only pick a very few number of applicants into their nursing or midwifery school. Some of the reasons may be that because you had weak results in your WASI and another reason may also be that you did not pass the exams or interview conducted by the university. Whilst some other universities nursing and midwifery programs are only for pure science applicants. So if you did not perform particularly well in your WASI exams but will still want to pursue a career in nursing, then I have great news for you and want to assure you that all hope is not lost to becoming a professional nurse in the country. So in this video, I'm going to display three kinds of WASI results that can help you know the type of nursing program or midwifery program you will fall under with the kinds of grades you obtained from your senior high school. Certificate in Nursing So the certificate in nursing is offered at any accredited nursing training schools and colleges and the certificate typically lasts for two years which specializes in Community Health Nursing CHN, Health Assistant Clinical also known as HAC and the age limit to enroll in a certificate in nursing is between 16 to 35 years and the cutoff aggregate score is up to 48 or better. You will also need six subjects comprising three core and three electives with at least passes E1 to E8. So these are some of the WASI results that can easily gain you admissions into a certificate in nursing program. And with this result, Social Studies is a C4, English Language C4, Core Mathematics E8, Integrated Science D7, CRS B3, Geography D7, Government C6, and General Knowledge and Arts B3. So a summation of your three core and three electives leaves this applicant with a total aggregate of 28. Looking at the second WASI results, Social Studies is a C5, English Language E8, Core Mathematics D7, Integrated Science C6, Economics C6, Government C4, History E8, and French F9. So with the summation of the three core and three electives is going to sum up to a total of aggregate 38. Passing the certificate licensure exams. So in order to graduate and sit for the certificate or auxiliary licensure exams, nursing students must have completed all four academic semesters with all the required theoretical instructions and clinical experiences as stipulated in the rules and regulations for each training program students must have also passed all their semester examinations conducted by the nursing school students must have also attained a satisfactory performance in their clinical years and students must have paid the stipulated examination fee for the particular examination. So after you have passed your licensure exams and the government successfully puts you to work at a government hospital, your starting salary will be at least 700 Ghana CDs on a monthly basis. But in case you are not getting posted to a government hospital, you can send your resume to any private hospital and gain active employment or work as an intern. Diploma in Nursing and Midwifery Diploma in Nursing and Midwifery programs is offered at any accredited nursing training schools and colleges in Ghana and it takes three years to complete a diploma in nursing or a midwifery program. The program specializes in areas like Registered General Nursing RGN, Registered Mental Nursing RMN, 
registered midwifery rm which is for females only and registered community health nursing rcn the age limit to enroll in a diploma in nursing is between 16 to 35 years and the cutoff aggregate score required is from aggregate 30 or better in six subjects comprising three core and three electives with at least credits a1 to c6 in english language core mathematics and integrated science so this is a sample of a wasi results that can qualify you and gain admissions into a diploma program in either nursing or midwifery and the social studies is a grade c4 english language grade c6 core mathematics grade c6 integrated science grade b3 economics grade c4 geography grade d7 government grade c4 and finally elective mathematics grade c6 so per the entry requirement for diploma we are going to take the english language core mathematics and integrated science alongside three of the best electives which is economics government and elective mathematics and summing up the grades gives us a total aggregate of 29. Looking at the second sample WASI results, Social Studies is a grade B3, English Language is a grade B3, Core Mathematics grade C5, Integrated Science grade B3, Biology grade C6, Food and Nutrition grade B3, Management and Living grade B3, and General Knowledge and Arts grade A1. So the same requirements apply using the English Language Core Mathematics and Integrated Science alongside three of the best electives will sum up to a total aggregate of 18. Passing the Diploma Licensure Exams So in order to graduate and sit for the basic or the Diploma Licensure Exams, nursing students must have completed all six academic semesters with all the required theoretical instructions and clinical experiences as stipulated in the rules and regulations for each training program. Students must have also passed their semester examinations conducted by the training college. Students must have also attained satisfactory performance in their clinical years and must have paid stipulated examination fee for that particular examination. So after you've passed your basic or diploma licensure exams, and the government successfully puts you to a government hospital, your starting salary is likely to start from 900 to 1,400 CDs monthly. But if you're unsuccessful in getting posted from the government, you can decide to apply and work at any private hospital for gainful employment. Another alternative most registered nurses and midwives do is to pursue a university degree or a top-up degree in nursing or midwifery at any of the private or public universities in Ghana. Top up diploma to degree in nursing and midwifery. So in order to qualify for these top up programs into the private or public universities, applicants must be holders of a diploma awarded from a recognized nursing or midwifery training college with a final grade point of at least 2.5 or better depending on the university you are seeking admissions into. Bachelor of Science degree in nursing and midwifery. Degree in nursing and midwifery program is offered at any accredited public or private universities and it takes four years to complete a degree in nursing or midwifery program in Ghana. The Bachelor of Science degree in nursing program specializes in areas like general nursing, mental health nursing, community health nursing, and pediatric nursing. The Bachelor of Science degree in nursing and midwifery vary according to the institution which you are applying to. Intake of students are mostly direct entry WASI applicants from the senior high schools and requires an outstanding performance and meeting the competitive cutoff point in your WASI exams in order to gain admissions successfully.
The age limit to enroll in a degree in nursing or midwifery is between 16 to 35 years and the cutoff aggregate score required is from aggregate 24 or better in 6 subjects comprising 3 core and 3 electives with at least credits A1 to C6 in English language, core mathematics and integrated science. So these are sample results that can qualify you into the Bachelor of Science in Nursing and Midwifery program. And with this result, Social Studies is a grade B3, English Language grade B2, Core Mathematics grade B2, Integrated Science grade B3, Biology grade B3, Food and Nutrition grade A1, Management and Living grade A1, and finally General Knowledge and Arts grade B3. So summing up the aggregate using the entry requirement will end up with a total of aggregate 14. For the second sample WASI results, Social Studies is a grade A1, English Language grade B3, Core Mathematics grade A1, Integrated Science grade A1, Elective Mathematics grade A1, Biology grade A1, Chemistry grade A1, and Physics grade A1. So using the same entry requirement for the degree nursing, this applicant will obtain a total aggregate of 8. Passing the Bachelor of Science in Nursing and Midwifery degree licensure exams. Candidates admitted to the degree nursing or midwifery programs must pass their licensure exams in order to become registered nurses and midwives and must have completed eight academic semesters with all the required theoretical instructions and clinical experiences as stipulated in the rules and regulations of each training program. Students must have also passed all their semester examinations conducted in the university. Students must have also attained satisfactory performance in their clinical years and must have paid the stipulated examination fee for the licensure examination. So after you've passed your licensure exams and completed your national service, and if you are successfully posted by the government, your monthly starting salary is going to be around 1,600 to 2,500 Ghana CDs. So I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe and share the content. In the next video, I will take you through all the application steps into the nursing and midwifery training colleges. But for now, please enjoy the images of some of the top renowned nursing and training midwifery schools in Ghana. And I will see you in the upcoming video.